Hi guys, I hope you're all well. It's currently Sunday the 30th of May 2021 and welcome to week 281 of my weight loss journey. In last week's video we all saw I had another great result by losing 3.5 pounds or 1.6 kilogram which in turn saw my body mass index go from 48.1 down to 47.7. I'm going to start the proceedings off by reviewing my calorie consumption for the past week, which we can see in the graph above. The average of this was 2,525 compared to the previous week at 2,455. I have gone just over my calorie allowance average for the week of 2,500 calories. It's not great. The main culprits for it, last Sunday, I went just over my 2,700 daily weekend allowance only just but obviously the thing what sticks out like a sore thumb of course is yesterday on saturday i had nearly 4000 calories now that just nudged me over above my overall allowance for the week so food wise though just like last week i've replicated what i had with the foundation of cabbage and broccoli with one of my homemade bolognese sauces with minced beef steak etc so I know I showed you the photographs of this last week, but I'll just add them in again, just to refresh one's memory. Um, so those are what I've been, or let's just say, this is what I've been consuming for my main meals Monday to Friday. Now, my fluid consumption has increased from the previous week to 3,551 milliliters, which is above my 3,500 milliliter target. So this is a good result. How about my activity levels for the past week in the form of my step count? This can be seen in the graph above. The average of this was 13,469 above my 10,000 step mark average uh, compared to last week where I was at 10,537. So there is a definite bump up in steps this past week, which I'm very pleased about. I've done as much walking as I could possibly fit in throughout the week. The weather was definitely better this week compared to the previous week. It started off a bit gloomy at the start and occasion where it did just, just a little bit of spit of rain, um, but thankfully uh, I didn't get too wet, so it was good. Um, yeah, so hopefully things are gonna be good this week. It's that time of the week where we all get to see if I've managed to lose any more weight. So here it is guys, here's my weigh-in. I weigh 163.7 kilograms, which is 361 pounds or 25 stone, 11 pounds. This means in the past week, I've seen a gain of 1.5 pound or 0.6 kilogram. Now, if I compare this result to the result I obtained at Slimming World, you can see this right here. At Slimming World this week, I also saw a gain of 1.5 pound or 0.6 kilogram. So there we have it folks. I wasn't expecting to see this gain result if I'm being perfectly honest. Yes, I've had that blip yesterday, but you've got to understand all of that food that I consume on a Saturday starts after I obtain my weighing result for the week. So the only thing that could possibly affect or in terms of bad results Obviously it will be last Sunday where I think I went 50 or 60 calories or something like that over my allowance. So that alone cannot account for the 1.5 pound gain. Uh, but throughout the week, I've been on point. So I was expecting to see another loss up to three pounds this week. So this 1.5 pound, it has come out the blue a little bit. Um, but nevertheless, I'm not gonna let this result get me down and I'll just have to regroup and focus towards next week's result. Based on this week's weight gain, it sees my body mass index go from 47.7 up to 47.8. And if my third weight loss target, last week it was 59.6% complete. And after the gain, it has to go down to 57.4% complete. So in the 281 weeks that I've been doing this weight loss journey, I've lost a total of 180 Point two pounds, which is 81.7 kilograms, or 12 stone, 12.2 pounds. 
Next week, I'm going to continue to stick with my cabbage, broccoli and homemade bolognese sauce. It is actually very tasty and I think it does actually help with towards seeing a more positive result at the end of the week. I know this past week obviously goes against that by seeing a £1.5 gain, uh, but nevertheless, uh, I know that I've been on point from Monday to Friday and maybe the, the, week, the stuff that I've consumed last weekend obviously has just stuck, clung on to me throughout the entire week. So I'm going to stick with it, uh, continue with the food choices that I've been having for the past couple of weeks because I honestly believe it is going to be the best approach going forward, at least for the short term. I wanted to get back down to my lowest recorded point on my weight loss journey, which was last October. So I think I've still got another 10 pounds of weight to lose to get back down to that point. I'm positive I will do it. Hopefully in the next three or four weeks, that weight will completely disappear. And then I can start focusing again on breaking into new ground. So let's wait and see watch what the near future has in hold or install for me. But other than that, guys, that's it. That's the end of this week's video. As always, if you'd like to continue following me along my weight loss journey and hopefully get to see much less of me in the future, by all means, subscribe to my channel so you don't get to miss out on any future videos that I post. I wish you all a fantastic week. Stay safe, look after one another, and I'll see you all again next Sunday.